Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachahakurash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders, a great millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect. And uh, I was watching this video done by uh, the elder Apostle Gabar, Daily Edification 4. The title of the video is Live for 1,000 Years Then Die. Okay, uh, which is another uh, bizarre weirdo doctrine popping up from the Sakari, um, in this case, Deacon Haka, all right, who um, has said even more bizarre things. You know, one of them being that um, the book of uh, the Songs of Solomon is referencing oral sex in a woman, you know, uh, swallowing semen, okay? It's talking about Solomon's rod and a woman sucking it, you know, that... You know that that's 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 one of many weirdo bizarre doctrines. But at the end of the day, we will see who was right. All right, in this recent move uh, made by the Sakari um, with this uh, debate, supposedly they had with a GMS or the guy who who was in that, you know, uh, debate with Haka. All right, as I uh, hear saying on Apostle Tahar's video, measure the times, one forty four. Shalom, Apostle Tahar, that was me. I'm no, and no, I'm not a part of GMS, nor, all right, am I part of any camp. I'm just a young brother new to the faith. I just subscribed to the doctrine of GMS and was claiming to be a, and was claiming to be a member, but Salaki, I'm not a part of GMS, Shalom, and that's off. All right, but now you know. I mean, you have the experience of you sincere. All right, you fall back and you learn, you know, getting trying to get into all these debates because these guys are master, you know, uh, uh, you know, they have a uh, serpent like qualities. You know, they have a way with words to, to bait you in, to trap you in. You know, they're good at debating and stuff like that. And ultimately, if you uh, are new to the faith, you should just be listening. You shouldn't be trying to jump into the ring with 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 with, with these guys, man. You sit back and get rooted in, in what you truly believe in. So you was all for saying that you 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 are part of GMS. You should have made that be known in the in the uh, 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 live show. You should that should have been the first thing you said, as you saw the title. But you have the uh, experience now. You know, uh, there's, there's no reason. You know, uh, at the, at the end of the day, the apostles can speak on that. But you 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 were all for that, and Deacon Haka. This makes you look bad because here it is. You're, you're putting the, 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 the vibe out there that you're debating with a GMS member. But here it is. This is just someone who listens. Now, you got people who listen to you. I can bring them onto my platform and, and put Sakari versus GMS debate on uh, uh, Deuteronomy, the 22nd chapter. And the dude just starts saying some crazy stuff. That's going to be attributed to y'all, which is that's that's a low blow. And really, you're mad because Sarnetta said GMS is the number one camp. And there's a little attention being put on GMS, so you want to, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a partake in the shine too. Putting going on social media, putting that we beat women, yeah, you just low, you just jealous, man. You 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 too old for that, man. That shit childish as hell and is whack. But ultimately, we're gonna res we're gonna stick to the doctrine. But I I wanted to keep keep this. I wanted to put this out here. This this dude wasn't a part of GMS, so that makes you look bad. The decision you you're making. Okay, it, it it really doesn't even the argument you're making it is it, it's really it's not even beneficial, man. But the Lord has every man in His lot now. In this video, uh, you know, live for one thousand years, then die. You know, because what they're teaching is that in the kingdom of heaven, all right, they're trying to quantify uh, uh, <laughs> immortality or eternal life teaching that pretty much after a thousand years you translate back you don't get sick and die but you translate back into the spiritual realm so that would mean there's going to be a point where your shy after a thousand years has to go back to the spiritual realm and wait to come back onto the earth so there there'll be a point where the earth will be without your shy he'll be in the spiritual realm now the whole purpose of this, this, what we're doing, 
is to get back to that heavenly estate we had with him before the world was ever created. Now, what does what the book of Ephesians say? That we were chosen before the uh, foundation of the earth. Okay? So, the elect, all right, the men of the Lord, the, the, the nation of Israel, and it starts at the elect, okay, which is the, the you know, under your shot of 144, okay, with the 12 being ahead of that, you have the, uh, 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 the, uh, the, the large multitude, and eventually all Israel are going to come into a righteous order of immortality. You see? Now, the Apostle Gabar covered a lot in this video, so watch it. It's very edifying. He made some very good points, you know, because, you know, ultimately they're, they're, they're trying to, you know, wrap their mind around immortality and add to it. <laughs> so in this video, which, look, we're going to be immortal, all right? Man, woman, and child will be immortal of the nation of Israel. No other nation will partake will partake in that okay now the video he was responding to was if Yahweh Shai will change us to be like him then how can we only live a thousand years the video that that video was done by GMS spiritual temple 2 so go look that video up as well and we're gonna get into some scriptures because ultimately when you're dealing with this, you know, the, the, the guys are talking about the earth being overpopulated if, if we never die, as if the Heavenly Father doesn't have everything all figured out. You're taking problems of this world, okay, and, and, and burdens of this world to the kingdom and trying to place them and, and, and fit immortality around them. Do G's get to go to heaven, spirit? All right? The spirit y'all in, man. <laughs> These are all mortal thoughts. All right? The, the fact you're even saying that in the kingdom of heaven, the earth is going to be overpopulated. Do you think that we're really going to have that thought and problem in the kingdom of heaven? Why are you even putting that thought into an Israel as messed up as we are in the hell we got to go through here in this flesh trying to get through the straight gate? All right, uh, 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 seeing this devil getting ready to lose his mind, you throw another burden on their ass or overpopulate. Here, we got to hear this. We got to listen to this devil, and see that's what it is. Y'all really, y'all, y'all listen to Esau too goddamn much, man. That's why y'all arguing over the flat earth and all of this. Y'all into the, the basically y'all trends in the world and all of that. That that ain't the men of the Lord. You know, we mention particular things and go into particular things, but everything is centered around prophecy, man. Not getting a click, a like, or, or, or going into the entertainment world and trying to look, doing all of this weirdo shit, man. You know, those are, these these are all mortal thoughts you you dudes are talking about. The Lord ain't set us up to teach Israel. There's a possibility the Earth can be overpopulated. What, what are you What are you doing in the kingdom? You think we're really gonna have that bullshit mindset in the kingdom? That, man, what? A, oh man. There's not enough room. You think we're going to actually have that thought or issue? Because we, because if everybody lived forever, it's go, there ain't going to be enough room. <laughs> Come on, man. Those are mortal thoughts, and they're weak. And really, you all lack the 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 the, the faith. I don't know if you dudes really believe in what this book is really all about. Well, I mean, there's particular things in the book that you say, uh, you know, aren't the word of God. So your foundation is not sure. And going into Jacob's trouble with that, you know, reckless, you know, uh, but I don't know about this and I, this ain't this and that is, you know, all of this weirdo, you know, backhanded shit, man, you, you're going to lose. Okay. So the best thing to do is repent, but men will not stop. Okay? Men won't stop. Okay? So let go from the mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of men. 
All right, put off now the weak nature, man. Okay, the, 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 that's a very mortal thought to think about after how the limit, the age limit of an Israelite in the kingdom of heaven. Like, I, that should be the furthest thing from your mind. Now, there are things we think about. Don't get it twisted. There are particular things you do wonder, you know, like, like you know, after the destruction, how long are we going to be on a chariot, you know, as we're getting crowned in earth years, you know, and, and how will time, you know, change and shift and be, you know, uh, in the new body? You know, we, we don't know those things. So you think about particular things, but you have to be mindful of the vibe you're putting out there. I mean, the, the people are watching for the words of eternal life. We're living in a very detrimental time in the spirit to where Israel is going to have to cling on to the Lord in a whole nother fashion. So you want to make sure you're, you're feeding people with the meat that is, uh, 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 what, what is that in the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter? All right, the meat in due season. Okay, this is uh, Matthew 24. Matthew 24 and forty five it says I start at forty four therefore be ye also ready for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh <laughs> who then is a faithful and wise servant whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season. So you're supposed to be feeding Israel with meat according to the season. Okay? And you have to be in season and out of season. Okay? You're, look, we're, we're feeding, we have to feed the flock constantly to keep them in the mindset to continue following the lamb. Stay on path. Okay? Because it's we're we're getting ready to go through a time like never before. The earth has never seen these the kind of times that are coming as we enter into the end of Esau's world. Man, blessed is that servant whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Comfort is very important, man. Entertainment is cute, okay, but there's enough of that in this world. All of that entertainment, shock value, clickbait. Uh, uh, you know, worldly gang gang bullshit, you know, at the end of the day. OK, but right now, the times we're in, that that's not needed. OK. Going into the Cardi B and the goss gossip and the, 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 the gossip, the cam, you know, the, the dealing with the, 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 you know, all this bullshit, man. Nobody gives a damn about that, man. All right, but there are particular Israelites that are full of shit. So they'll follow you because ultimately they want to still remain in a world and, and keep the, the vibe of the world, but at the same time got on fringes. So the, 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 the wise servant is set up, okay, by the master, <laughs> by the Lord to do what? Give the, the, the flock meat in due season. Okay? Verily I say unto you that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. So I guess you're going to be ruler over all his goods. Okay, but then you're going to have to, do, you know, there, there's only so much time you'll have in an immortal body on earth. So you'll have to go back up into the spiritual realm. And wait your turn to come back. Now imagine after the a thousand years where we were the uh, elect, you know, the men of the Lord, the 144, and, you know, the large multitude, you know, established the first dominion. Okay, the, uh, you, know, uh, uh, you know, Esau's done away with. And then we say, well, Yahweh the 144, that first generation who came in. Well, we're out of here. You know, <laughs> just go back. You know, the the Shah, the 144, the large multitude, all go back. All right, we've been here a thousand years. Let's let, let's roll out. And they all go back to the spiritual realm. Because the earth is going to be overpopulated. Could you imagine that? 
the rest of Israel be like, wait a minute, where y'all going? <laughs> We ain't, we can't, we ain't, you know, what, where y'all going? You, you see, you realize how ridiculous that sounds? Now, the whole purpose of this gospel is for us to get back to the glory that we had with the Most High through Yahweh Shai in the beginning. The whole story is recording the sons of God, their, their, their origin, what they were, you know, created in the heavens. You know, came to the earth, fell, you know, uh, you know, following after different philosophies. That's always been the fall of the chosen seed, being mingled among the heathen, learning their works and not being obedient to the way, falling from their estate. OK, but now in these latter days, we've uh, we, we were promised to come back. OK, so that we can be heirs to the promise given to our fathers, Abraham, his seed, Isaac and his seed, Jacob. And the 12 sons and the 12 tribes of Israel are still here in the planet Earth. Okay? They're as the sand of the sea, actually, but a remnant are returning for the purpose of being restored to our rightful order as the sons and judges of the Most High who are to reign and, and, and govern this earth so that it, it, it remains paradise. Because all of the governments of the heathen. OK, and even our government uh, uh, under Solomon failed because ultimately the flesh. Adam, uh, uh, starting with Eve, failed because what? The flesh. So as we get these new bodies, we're fighting to get back to a glory to where we could now have that heavenly estate on earth. You see. And those bodies aren't going to be subject to decay and there's no limit you can put on that body as a matter of fact this is wisdom of solomon chapter 9 and 13 it says for what is man for what man is he that can know the counsel of of god or who can think upon what the will of the Lord is. Can you can you really do it? And that's what you all are trying to do. The best thing to say is, look, it's gonna be immortal. Now, when we get there, we'll 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 see it, we'll feel it, we'll understand it. Okay? And we damn sure ain't gonna be like, well, well what if the, the earth gonna be overpopulated? That, that's 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 Bill Gates talk, man. That's Esau. E, only Esau would say oh, the earth can possibly be overpopulated as if that's gonna that that can actually happen and and ruin the earth no man the most high would not let that happen and do you realize how big this earth is and how much we haven't seen and how many mysteries and things about this earth there may be other things that lead to whole other portals and different things in this earth that you have no idea about You know? Come on, man. The thoughts of mortal men are miserable. And our devices are but uncertain. For the corruptible body press it down the soul and the earthly tabernacle weigh down the mind that museth upon many things. And every thought don't have to come onto a video. There are things you may think about. There, there's things you may ponder but you got to make sure you're not uh, 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 pushing your thoughts onto the flock and confusing them, man. And hardly, <laughs> and hardly do we guess a right at the things that are up on the earth. Okay, you can't even you can't exp explain the process of a, of a how does a sperm go into an egg get nourished. OK, and develops a, you know, a spirit comes into it, the, the, the uh, develops lungs and t tissue, the tail from the sperm, you know, forms it to, you know, like, well, how do you explain it? You can't. Now, the Esau can in, in, in carnal terms, yeah, well, this tissue attaches to that. But how is that process just perfect every time? 
to the point where all of these billions of people are on the earth. Like, wow. And they, you know, they, they look different. They have different lots. Like, this, this is a, a, a whole dynamic. And it's all controlled by Yahweh, all right? The Most High God, Yahweh, and his mediator with the chosen seed on earth is Yahweh Shai. Whom he uh, given any everything into his hands. For the thoughts of mortal men are miserable, and our devices are but uncertain. Okay. For the corruptible body press it down the soul in the earthly tabernacle, which we're trying to get out of this tabernacle. Wave down the mind that muset upon many things, thinking upon many things, man. Where it wears you out. And hardly do we guess aright at the things that are up on the earth. How, how does a snail, you have a fire, what they call a fire snail, is able to, to uh, live in like temperatures that are, it, the heat that is out of this world, like under volcanoes and, and stuff like that, man. How, with a steel uh, shell. Like, what is that? How do you? Okay, and then these Edomite scientists come with all these theories and throwing out all of this bullshit, and then you cling on to it and try to link it to the gospel. Because Esau thinks he has everything all figured out. And with labor do we find the things that are before us, but the things that are in heaven who have searched out. And what's in heaven? Those bodies. So you, you can't tell the Most High in Israel the, 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 the limitations of those new bodies. Look, we don't know fully. I can't. The, 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 there's particular things Jake asked. We can't tell you the functions of the new body. We just know that they're coming. <laughs> you know? We'll see. It's a lot to think about. Don't get it twisted. There are particular thoughts you may come with, but goodness gracious, at what point do you stop? John 17 and 5, And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self with the glory which I had before the world was. Now we, the elect, Real quick. The elect. This is Ephesians, the first chapter. In the third verse says, Blessed be God and the Father of our Lord, <laughs> Yahawashai. And that's the thing. Yahawashai is the direct son of the Most High. Okay? He spoke him into existence. And the sons of God and the rest of, you know, that, that you know, those spirits were created in a particular order under Yahweh Shai. Direct breath, directly created of the Most High. Everything else then is created through, start with Yahweh Shai, them. You see? So there was a particular order that Yahweh Shai and the first fruit spirits were in from the beginning that we're fighting to be restored to for, in, in, for the purpose of coming on earth with that order. And it's not subject to the rudiments of this lifetime. I'm sorry. <laughs> that should make you fight harder knowing that. That's what you're fighting for. You're fighting to get back into a heav your heavenly estate. Ephesians 1 and 3. Blessed be God the Father and our Lord Yahweh Shai, who have blessed us with all spiritual things in heavenly places in Hamashiach, according as he have chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, in the beginning, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. So if we were chosen before the foundation of the earth. That means we we're in another form than we are in now. And that is our spiritual body in the heavens. Now at the forefront of the church, let's see here.
I believe that's in the book of Hebrews. Hebrews 12 and 23. To the, uh, the general assembly and the church of the firstborn, which are written in heaven, and God the judge of all, and to spirits of just men made perfect. Okay? Let's see here. Wow. So, when you go to John 17 and 5, Yahweh Shai says, And now, Father, glorify thou me with thine own self with the glory that I had with thee before the world was. All right? Now, as you read down, and he did. He eventually went back to the right-hand side of the Most High and assumed his heavenly order and position as high priest. Over all things, all spirit, everything in the heavens are subject unto him through the most high, man. <laughs> He's the right hand of the most high, man. Okay, he runs the business, so to speak. And the business is this whole world and this whole universe, man. Where the heavenly father's will is done. And the sons of God are just about at the end of their punishment to where they can go back to their rightful order and rule on earth as kings and priests. And then you show your ass up to the party with some cake. Like, nigga, who's this guy? How did he get here? The old school cake with all of the frost on it, with, with the with, with in writing 1,000 years in red uh, icing. 1,000 years. What the fuck are you doing? Is it time for you to go back? You got some cake. Get your ass out of here. <laughs> this, this is John 17 and 22. In the glory. Now this is Shai praying for us. In the glory which thou gavest me, I have given them. All right? <laughs> and that's a, that's a very, that's a, I mean, come on now. It said we're going to be like him. Okay? So Yahweh Shai, at some point after a thousand years, he's going to have to not be, he can't be on the earth anymore for, for the purpose of making room for other Israelites. John 17 and 22, and the glory which thou gavest me, the glory I'm going to return to, I have given them that they may be one even as we are one. <laughs> I in them and thou in me, and th that they may be perfect, that they may be made perfect in one, and that the world may know that thou hast sent me and has loved them. Okay, because they're going to be in a particular order under Yahweh Shai. And thou hast loved me. Father, I will that they also whom thou hast given me be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory, which thou hast given me, for thou lovest me before the foundation of the world. Now, we just read that we were chosen before the foundation of the earth. That means we were with Yahweh Shai before the foundation of the earth. <laughs> right? So if we're going to return to that glory to where we can behold him in his heavenly estate and actually be with him live touch him you know because people think spiritual bodies and they think that you're you're, you're absolutely you're invisible you you're just sitting there you you, you know like like what <laughs> hey the spiritual bodies have it, it describes them when Yahweh is in his glory all right. As a matter of fact, let's pull it up. Let me read this real quick. Second Timothy's one and ten, but is now made manifest by the appearing of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai, who hath abolished death, right, and have brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. And we've received this the, the gospel in this mortal flesh so that we could overcome death and be restored right under him back to our glory. Now, when you deal with the spiritual body, this is Revelation 1.
in 13. Okay? Revelation 1 and 3, it says, And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like the uh, unto the Son of Man. Now, what does it mean, one like unto the Son of Man? I mean, he looks, he has like a, a, a body. Okay? He has a head. You know, he has arms. He has legs. But his his visage, his presence, is it's heavenly. So there are heavenly bodies. But what we do know of him, right, it says clothed with the garment down to the foot. So he had a garment on. Okay? So the spiritual bodies, all right, are, are, <laughs> you know, they have garments. Like they, they, they can put garments on. They, 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 they can, uh, uh, I mean, it's so hard to wrap your mind around it, but we're reading it. He, the, he, what, he, what John the Revelator is seeing is Yahweh Shai in his heavenly estate which we're going to return to that estate with him. It says his head and his hairs were white like wool. So he had a head. He had hair. Okay. And his head and his hairs is basically your head and your hairs means your, your, your head and your beard. Okay. Were white like wool. Your hair, they were, they were, he had woolly hair. So we do know that the heavenly bodies are capable of having a head, hairs, putting on garments. Okay? So, and his feet like unto fine brass. So he had feet. As if they burn in a furnace. And his voice as the sound of many waters. Now when the angels, the Allahim created man... All right, they, they, they said, let us make man in our image. Right? So the, 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 these carnal bodies resemble somewhat the heavenly body, but the thing that detaches it is this damn flesh for us, man. So the spirit dwells in this decrepit flesh. We're going to be upgraded back into the bodies that we had from the beginning. <laughs> Directly under Yahweh Shai. And reign on the earth, man. I mean, I keep saying it because get that through your head. You're not going to have the thoughts of, the, the uh, 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 you know, I, I ain't going to be able to be here no more and all of that shit. Let's read this again. John 17 and 24. Father, I will that they also whom thou hast given me be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory, okay, which thou hast given me, for thou lovest me before the foundation of the world. O righteous Father, the world have not known thee, but I have known thee, <laughs> and these have known that thou hast sent me. All right? And... Let's see here. And have the and I have declared unto him them thy name, and will declare it that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them, and I in them. Wow. Hebrews seven and twenty five. Wherefore he is able to also save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him, seeing he ever liveth to make it intercession for them. So he ever liveth. The body that he's in now in the heavens, okay, ever liveth. It's not going to be subject to ever uh, decay. It's immortal. What we're telling you is we are going to have that immortal body. All Israel will have that immortal body. Now, there will be rank and order. Okay, though you know, uh, all Israel will have spiritual capability. First of all, what we all will share in common as Israelites is the glory of having the law, statutes, and commandments written in our inward part. Every Israelite and the children that are born will be born into the covenant, a legacy of righteousness. The seed will be attached to immortality. 
So our children that are born are going to be born into those bodies. And don't you think for one minute that the Lord, when he created this vessel, okay, the, the, didn't create it for it to be enjoyed by all Israel forever and didn't have it figured out how he would uh, do that. I just want to get there, man. You know? Do what you got to do to get there, Israel. And then when we get there, we can, hey, hey, we can have our heart's desire. We're not going to have these thoughts. We're not going to deal with these bodies. We're not going to deal with having a beginning or an end. We are just going to exist. We're going to be. <laughs> like, how could you go to Melchizedek and say, you know, put an age limit to him, or because he he was born directly of the father, he didn't have a mother or father. The elect, <laughs> all right, the, the the first fruits are going to be a, a a direct creation of the Most High in the spiritual realm. Wow. And he has those bodies waiting on us, man. So he ever liveth and maketh intercession, all right, for them. And he's made, it said, it said he's made higher than the heavens, man. Hebrews or Revelation chapter, let's see here. Revelation chapter uh, 1 and 18, I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive and forevermore. All right? I am he that liveth and was dead, all right, but he conquered death. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Once he raised from the dead, he conquered death. which enabled him to be able to go back to that glory that he had with the Most High before the foundation of the earth. And we are overcoming death via the Holy Spirit in this time for that same purpose. Okay? Because that's what's being raised up in these latter days. Real quick, this is uh, Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 23. For God created man to be immortal and made him to be an image of his own eternity. You don't put a limit on the most high. How the hell are you going to put a limit on what the, 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 the Israel is going to have in the kingdom? <laughs> Verse 24, and you all don't believe Yahweh Shai is going to be immortal at the end of the day. You all believe Yahweh Shai is just going to be, you know, sitting there waiting on you, you to uh, offer up sacrifices in the, the kingdom so we can do stuff. Verse 23, for God created man to be immortal, okay, and it's speaking of the chosen man because it all started with Adam, who was what, made a living soul. So he created us to be immortal and made him to be an image of his own eternity. Nevertheless, through envy of the devil came death into the world, and they that hold of his side do find it. And we've learned that clinging on to death has really bit us in the ass as the chosen people. It would, it would be better for us to just be obedient. Things work out better for us when we do that. And that's the lesson we've learned. Now, I was going to get something. This is uh, Sirach 36. And 15, give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning. <laughs> All right. So we, we were we were chosen and we were in a whole nother, you know, uh, form, man. Like this flesh is not it, man. You know, the the 
the limitations that come with you know this human and being in captivity, man, it, it got so much of a hold over Jake that they want to take it to the kingdom. That's the only way they can. They they, they don't think that the the Most High is capable of having them in a position to where everybody can be good, not worry. Not we we worry so much that we want to bring worry to the kingdom. And this is how you know we just need a kingdom at the end of the day, man. I mean, the kingdom of heaven, we, we won't be having none of these stupid-ass debates. But at, the, at this, this time, there's particular men who ain't right, who got to be called out, who, gonna, who, who are going to be a burden to the, the true prophets, all right? And we'll see at the end of the day who was right and who was wrong. I'm not, you know, that was, that was low, all right, for you to, you know, say, you know, GMS, you know, member, to, and, and knowing he wasn't in the GMS camp, and you should be at the point in age of age in his truth where you're able to vet like something like that out. Because you could say, well, he told me he was GMA. I didn't know. But, well, well you got to vet it out. What, who, what camp you in? All right. There's a video of you teaching with the camp. You're supposed to vet something like that out. You dudes are wrecked. And if we were in an actual war, you, Jake would have, we would be put to death so fast and easily. <laughs> Good thing this is a spiritual war, man. Imagine going to war with, with, with guys like that. <laughs> Goodness gracious, man. So the testimony is given to those who the Lord possessed from the beginning which come in the form of prophets that have been in his name. And Yahweh Shah said, I have manifested thy name to them. John 17. <laughs> John 17 and 26. I have declared unto them thy name. Now, when you deal with the name, it's more than just Yahweh, but the elect directly under Yahweh Shai. understand the word is ono onoma it says the name is used for everything which the name covers he is okay <laughs> yahweh he exists okay everything the thought or feeling which is aroused by the mind mentioning hearing remembering the name for one's rank authority Interest, pleasure, command, excellencies, uh, deeds, etc. There you go. So, the what the what the heavenly the heavenly Father's will is understood and given through a particular order, and it starts with Yahweh Shai, and those men are sent to the earth in particular uh, incarnations to do what. The will of the Lord. And we're at, hey, I believe this is the final, you know, uh, this is the final uh, time that we'll have to be in this form. Okay? And you, that trying to be deep spirit, it's played out. That's so 2014. It's time to grow up. We're in different times, man. And see, when you need gimmicks and all of this, this is when you, you uh, ultimately you start to bite yourself and uh, you start to make yourself look like a fool. And that's what you dudes are doing at the end of the day. Romans 6 and 9, knowing that Hamashiach being raised from the dead dieth no more, death hath no more dominion over him. Right? So if Yahweh Shai dieth no more in the form that he's in now, he's finally going to come on the earth with it because that's what we've never done. <laughs> we've never been able to rule on earth as it is in heaven. Now Melchizedek came to the earth 
okay? But he eventually went back to the spiritual realm for, for the purpose of Abraham paying tithes. And what does that even mean? How, how did that, how was that played out? How was he a king? He was, it said he was the king of Salem, uh, Melchizedek, king of Salem, which we know that's Jerusalem. Okay, a uh, 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 priest of the most high God. Now, we have never as a unit, all right, Yahweh Shai and the first fruits ruled in the chosen seed period came and lived on earth with immortal bodies you know that's what's coming we ain't gonna be worried about none of the shit y'all dudes talking about first john the third chapter and the first verse behold what manner of love the father have bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of god Therefore, the world knoweth us not, because it knoweth him not. See, the name, the everything was manifest into a particular rem, a particular uh, 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 order. And in this these days and times, some of those very spirits are here on earth preaching. All right, particular believers and 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 followers of, you know, the true church, the, the women, you know, other men and women who uh, support. You're back here because you're one of those special spirits. And you're going to get your reward according to as the Lord bestows upon you for your purpose. But we all will share one common thing. We're what? We will be immortal, man. Beloved, now are we the sons of God and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. We shall be like him. We shall see him as he is. So. I'm going to leave it there. Um, let's see here. I think we got everything. Yeah, man. I'll leave it there, man. Shalom.